Good Friday morning, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and thank you kindly for joining us on Real Talk with Keith Smith. Today's show, we are all very excited for. We have Johnny Ornalis in the house. This man, a savvy, talented, and experienced restaurateur, and the newest brand to open under his purview, Mexicale on West Main Street. It's in the old World of Beer location. If you have not visited Mexicale, you're missing an experience. And I use the word experience because the food is absolutely off the chain, delicious. The cocktails, River Hawkins um, inspirations, the outdoor uh, environment is as inviting as any outdoor environment in the city with a playground for kids literally on site. And one of my most favorite aspects of Mexicali, the ambiance. I mean, you walk into the restaurant and you have some of the most beautiful murals and you know what, street art that is maybe I've, the best I've ever seen in my life. And I sincerely mean that. Parking on site, easy to get to, fairly priced, just absolutely fantastic. Judah Wickhauer, I can't wait to welcome Johnny Ornalis to the show. If you go to the studio camera, we'll welcome our star, Keith Smith, and a guest that, Keith, we have been anticipating for some time, and our friend Johnny Ornalis. We've been anticipating this. Um, I've had the uh, pleasure to, um, let's say, taste a couple of Rivers cocktails. Um, you, you need to go do this, and the food is off the charts. I mean, this gentleman to my right is a culinary phenom. No, I, I mean that. I'm not saying that because you're sitting here, because you mixed a couple of... Uh, you know, this is a fusion of a couple of uh, different, let's say, styles of food. Why don't you tell us a little bit of what you did? Because it, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, well, hey, how you guys doing? Um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, I've constantly had the question of, or, you know, people are trying to ask me what this is. You know, and it's, been, it's been actually eight months of trying to fight and figure out. Because we I know don't that. have a category for this. This is not something... And it kind of, you know, if you go back to roots of where, you know, I came from and things like that, it's, it's a hard definition. So basically, in reality, it's undefined. I mean, we, I can't define what but we But it has different in influences, right? It Peruvian. does have different so has So, you know, the base is always, you know, it's, it's our roots. It's Mexican. Yep. You know, but it's not Mexican. Yeah. You know, so you, you got to think we got, in, we got some ingredients that haven't been used in the area. You know, and we've got fusions of different loca localities. You know, we got a lot of friends from Peru, from Venezuela, from Argentina, and we have tried to immerse that into the business as well because that's us. You know, that's that's our friends. It's dear to our hearts. So it's trying to, you know, we can't directly make it authentic. You it's know, authentic to you, brother. But it's authentic to us. Yeah. You know, it's authentic to it. us and what we're doing. So it's hard to categorize it because it's us. You know? Well, I mean, you, like I, I posted earlier this morning, you guys are like cutting edge. You know, El Mariachi. Huh? Look at me. Huh? Did it <laughs> yeah. twice in a row. Yeah, there you go. Twice in a row. Good job, Keith. <laughs> you know, uh, ask me to say realtor. I, I can't do that yet. But, uh, I mean, that's just an outstanding. And Bebedero, right, because River is your yeah. partner in that so we know we've got all these great influences in it but jerry kind of in his intro led into this and i'm going to see you tonight i mean um you've got an 1800 square foot right is that is 1800 square 1800 foot? square foot patio patio 1800 square foot in, in so you have as much outdoor space as you as have indoor, indoor space. space and there's a playground and i've got both my grandkids in from connecticut and if you don't think i'm going to let them run amok here today around five o'clock while grandpa's and it's, and going it's gated so you don't have to worry about them you worry about out. me or the kids well you but, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean we're you know this locality we've uh it, it's it wasn't the craziest thing is that we didn't have a plan for this you know we had an idea which got turned around you know very quickly and but the one thing has been is we're trying to take you not that Charlottesville is not a great place to be at, but literally we're taking you out of Charlottesville. Oh, absolutely. You walk in the door absolutely. and you're not in Charlottesville anymore. Hundred percent. You know, Where are so you though? Where do you You're somewhere in California yeah. you enjoying, you know, the West Coast out there. The so. art I don't want to give it away too much because you really need to see this. 
but the artwork that River has done and the decoration that you guys are upfit that you guys have done in that is 100% right. Yeah, we've already had people from, I had a guy from Harrisonburg, he wants me to bring it up there. Had people from Richmond come up. And it's just like, it's, it's hard to explain to them that there is no base to this. You're not going to get the same but thing. But you got a there. little bit of that street food vibe, too. We do have on, the right? street food. So that's one of the things. You know, we're more top of base. We're not a, a, a big platter sit down type. So I, we veered off from that. You know, we're more tapas. We're more kind of street food. You know, we have taken things that we are used to, you know, typical things, and we put a twist on them. And they're more, they're, they're heavily seasoned. You know, a lot of it, a lot of love goes into this stuff, and a lot of work. Well, I, I so, know, you, I know you put a lot of love yeah, into it. Yeah. So, um, but we've given it to you in a small bite where you can actually really enjoy it and taste multiple items. And in. what I love about the vibe, because I've been in there a few times since you started just soft open, and your yeah. your grand opening's coming up soon, right? Yeah, we're next week. Uh, we're doing a, a week long grand opening. And then you got some bands coming in. We'll talk about that. It's a got bit. music tonight. Yep, we've got music Cindy tonight. Lopez giving them some props right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Family right yeah. there, right? Yeah, it's my sister-in-law. Yeah. Eva yeah. Rivera giving them some props. Mm. Stephen Rutherford giving them some props. A bunch of restaurant owners watching the program. Wow. Um, you want to give us the flip book of this experience, of this um, journey for Mexicali? You know, it's, it, 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 it's been a long time coming. And it's been something, you know, like I said, it's something, this is us. This is me and River. You know, this, we, we literally poured our heart and soul into this restaurant. And from, like, the bottom of our hearts. Because you can walk in there, you see that location, that's us. You know, there's nothing that's going to veer you off. That is what, that's one of the biggest achievements that we both have done is that we are completely content with the location of what it turned out. We had no plan for it. You know, there was no sketching, no drawing. It was basically on a day-to-day, -day, hey, what if we do this? And there was no conflict. It was just like, all right, I'll be back. I'll figure that out. We can do this, you know. So it's been a constant thing. So it's been, it's been one of the hardest and one of the easiest projects for us to do because it's, it's so easy to just say, let's do this. Okay, we got it. But yeah, when you got a good, good partner, that always makes life yeah, so it, much, it does. So much it does. Easier. It makes it a lot easy, you know. And River, you know, he he poured his, you know, heart and soul into all that artwork that he's been producing, and we've already got um, some local uh, schools, like for art teachers and things like that, that are already trying to bring in their students to see that you can actually do something else with art. Something for a bit, you know, business-wise, not just. Art it doesn't just have to be conservative, doodling. traditional center aisle. I think that was what struck me when I visited your location. Is the restaurant has personality like you don't see in other restaurants? And I'm not trying to throw shade um, to anyone, no. but he and Judah's showing. Oh, fantastic work, Judah! He's showing photos of the restaurant right now uh, on the show. Folks, look at the screen. I mean, everywhere you look in your restaurant is a n different art masterpiece. I've been there for eight months. I'm still finding new stuff. Right. And yeah. I found so. myself, like, it was compelling. Yeah. I found myself uh, magnetized to the walls, to the columns, to the bathrooms. You have a, what's the exact terminology here? Uh, uh, what's the type of bike? That you would call oh the 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 low rider bike. you have a low rider <laughs> bike hanging from a ceiling. a ceiling, ceiling yeah. yeah yeah a literally tricked out low rider it is so dope <laughs> hanging from the ceiling and and you mentioned the columns uh the columns has been an homage to to family right you know so you know river has his column where he's got his his son and um his uh his fiance and himself that he has tagged um he did one wall for me one column for me where it's all my family uh my two daughters my son my wife and then he had designated a, a column for me where he had just tagged um my my name around it and 
And then, you know, I was like, you know, it's missing something. Can you add these people that have actually, you know, helped this journey without knowing that they did, you know, which were my grandparents that have, uh, family members that have passed, you know, both my grandparents, great grandparents, and an aunt of mine. So they're, the columns are very special to us, but it's family and it's who we are, you know, in general. And Qu questions coming in for you. Yeah. Um, Holly Foster, um, she says, I hope to try this when I'm up for the long weekend and Labor Day. She lives in Henrico, okay. routinely comes up here. Uh, once a month, um, if not more, to Charlottesville. She asks, is it uh, patio pet friendly for a five pound poodle? Or oh, yeah. do I need puppy sitting? No. Over there? Yeah, we're, 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 we're animal friendly in the patio and kid friendly. You know, we're not, the, this restaurant is very, I guess you can say it's going to be very diverse. We're not hitting on just a certain type of uh, customer base. I mean, we want everybody to come in. We haven't made it's a it's a bar. It's a it's a bar, but we're we're not categorizing just as a dive bar. You know, it's it's for everybody. It's and that's for, where I wanted to jump in. Yeah. You know, it, it it appeals to so many different people. When I was there a couple of times, you had families. Yeah. You had you know the, the guy at the end of the day having a drink mm -hmm. at, at at the bar, but. You know, when you get in there, because of the ambiance and because of the artwork, like Jerry was saying, you don't want to leave, right? You oh, yeah, just... we've had, I've, we've had, I've, I've left, gone home, come back, and I'm like, they're still here. Yeah. Like, it's like, there's. Well, you don't want to leave because you get so absorbed into it to your point where eight months, I've eaten it about a half a dozen times, and I'm constantly finding new things and, and having a conversation. You're not rushed. You're, you're treated like family. The food is off the charts. The cocktails are off the charts. And if you don't want to go that way, you go out to the patio, which, my God, the weather's perfect for yeah. it right now. And you let the, you got a playground over there. You let the, and you got an outdoor um, we do have stage, a, right? We do have an outdoor stage out there. So yeah. talk about that. What, what do you yeah. have plans for well, that? You know, plans for that is uh, we're planning on doing outdoor music during the days. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to make this into another local venue for Shawsville. And I think after COVID, a lot of these, a lot of restaurants have veered off from doing certain 100%. things. 100%. You, know, you 100%. can't go out and drink somewhere. Uh, the other day we went somewhere, six of us, 9.30, we got kicked out. And it's just like, wow, you know. As a New Yorker, that's like yeah, hard to comprehend. Yeah. So... You know, we, we have our extended hours, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're, we're going to eventually be open till 1 or 2 a.m., you know. And then the patio, we're, our vision for that is trying to do like a, a market, a local vendor market on Saturday mornings. Oh. You know, you can have live music, have somebody playing something. Before COVID, I was very intrigued. There was at the uh, farmer's market downtown, they used to have a, it was coffee and congas. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And they used to gather. I mean, why is that? Why has that disappeared? You know, you have a lot of local artists that just want to come out and have fun, you know, and then families are going to enjoy that fun as well. So we're trying to schedule and get things going so we can bring that to Charlottesville. And, you know, what better place than, like you said, 1,800 square foot patio? It is, uh, you have to see it, you have to experience it. It's got a beautiful stage, it's got a little sitting area where if you just yeah. want to sit down and have a have a, a conversation and then there's a small area for the chitlins to run around and get into trouble and mom and dad can have a thing. The other thing I was going to sneak in my post this morning, um, for those in the business world and real estate agents and all that stuff, you're open for lunch. This is a great environment for a business lunch, right? Particularly outside, out, yeah. in, out in that patio. And this time of the year, you can have a great conversation, meet a client, meet, you know, have a business conversation, not be too overly loud, but, but, and not be rushed out. Yeah. I, I hate being rushed out of a restaurant. Or, or an eating establishment. So if you want to do a little business and what you're trying to do, and I think you're achieving it, is it is kind of hitting all these things, making this welcome to everybody. Kind of like a cheers, a little local, you yeah, know, you Charlottesville's <laughs> version of, of yeah. a cheers. No, yeah, we, we're not, even with our music, you know, we're, we've been contacting a lot of uh, bands and DJs and local, you know, we're, we're uh, just talk a little bit about next week uh, for a grand opening. Um, we got, uh, I'm going to mess up her name, Tina Heshmi. She's a jazz vocalist. 
So Ooh. she's, she's going to be in on Tuesday to, right you know, uh, to start everything off. And then we got Adriana and Meredith, uh, which they're like a rogue folk music group on Wednesday. Um, we had Ken Matthews with the uh, Haywood Gills Quartet. They're like a blues quartet oh, wow. um, that they're going to be in on uh, Thursday. Friday, we're still trying to kind of situate Friday's uh, music. Um, then on Saturday, we got DJ Sawyer. And then on Sunday, we have DJ Reggie Watts. It's going to be doing kind of our uh, Memorial Day bash and like an all-white um, bash before before Labor Day uh, Monday. So uh, we're trying to get a diverse amount of I'm hearing uh, jazz, bands. I'm hearing blues, yep. my ears per perked up. Yeah. He's got a DJ uh, tonight. Um, yeah. I think one, one of the things to highlight of Mexicale is, is as much uh, a restaurant as it is a bar, as it is... Um, almost a street art museum, as it is um, outdoor space, as it is playground for kids, as it is music venue. There's yeah. many different faces or personalities or um, evolutions of Mexicale depending on the time of day. Correct. And I think it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's dynamic. Uh, you can go into Mexicale at lunch and see folks conducting business. You go into Mexicale, three, four, five o'clock, people enjoying a uh, happy hour. Kids start coming in with their parents for dinner. Yeah. Then you have date night crowd. Then you have the late night late crowd night with crowd. people getting after it. And Put that in perspective. And that's what we're seeing. I mean, we're, we're literally seeing that. And actually, it's, it's uh, well, even the, the dinner, like the dinner families that are coming in with their kids that they're playing, they're staying later into the night. You know, it's not like they're just eating dinner. Okay, we got to go. You know, because of the playground, because of the patio space, you know, they're actually able The playground to was genius. <laughs> I mean, that's a genius idea yeah. by you. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We fear, we're seeing a lot of... Uh, Copycats. Friends, <laughs> friends started to do that. Um, so so, so we're, no we're, videotaping me today with the grandkids because they make me go on the slides and stuff like that. So. <laughs> I've got cameras all I over know the place. You do. I got I cameras know. all over the place. You thought that slide <laughs> would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we're, it's going to happen, trust yeah, me. Yesterday, I mean, we had, it was two families, you know, and they were locals and they were there for three hours, you know, and. It wasn't like, Mommy, I want to go home or all this. You know, there's plenty of space where they can play around. And the, the atmosphere has slightly changed, but they were out on the patio. It did not affect anything. You know, whether it, the mood might change slightly on the inside, but if you're out there or you can walk out there and well, transfer, your, transfer your tab, you know, we, over to the outside, there's no big issue there, you know. And we're not, there's no... We've also made it to a way where there's no point in day where we're actually making you feel that you're being pushed out, you know, because we're the ambience is slightly changing. This time of the year, you've got that one wall that opens, right? It's like what twenty, thirty feet. Yeah, so we do have that. It's a it's a six door glass panel that actually accordions, and we've been opening it. I mean, with this type of weather just changed. Yeah. I mean, so now you have an indoor outdoor so space. Exactly right. You know, so. So what time is everybody going for music? Folks who want to stay for music, what time does music typically go on? Uh, so right now, I think uh, the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday events is 6 to 9. Um, so more of the local, like jazz, blues, and all that right now, we kind of have a more of a dinner ambience, things like that. The DJs and, and all that will be more late night, more of probably from like 10 to 12. or Way 10 past to, my bedtime. Yeah, well. Yeah. It's all right. I can give you access to video. You can thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, put in, put in perspective the uh, the the cocktail menu. Uh, Rivers influence. Um, he's known in the community as one of the best uh, cocktail and mixologists out there. Um, you, you have a, a bartender that was, I believe, just best of Seville. Yeah, yeah. Mendario. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a known commodity. Put it in a perspective of the bar, what we can expect from the menu and the creativity. Yeah, the creativity is, it's, it's kind of been an immersion. The cocktail uh, start of everything was an immersion of both. So it's kind of both kitchen and drink. You know, we've crossed ingredients um, from mm. both. Uh, we have a, one of my favorite drinks is a cane toad. 
and it's a kick, it's a mezcal and grapefruit lime based drink. But we've also taken ingredients. Um, there's a, a salsa that's called salsa matcha. It's an oil, peanut, dry pepper base, so kind of like a Asian oil mm -hmm. chili sauce, but it doesn't have a big kick on it, but it has a lot of robust flavors from the nuts and from the smokiness of the peppers and all that. And we've actually extracted the oils from that to where now River is using it as a dripper on the drinks. Wow. And as a rimmer too. So, so you got food and drinks we got that, food are and drinks that are paired together. Wow, cool. Kind of, and also uh, Takis is one of the biggest things that we've been using. I use them in the kitchen. Um, uh, one of our biggest, you know, items that has been coming out is our esquite bombs. So esquite is, it's a base of corn and mayo and cheese. You know, in Mexico you get in a little cup in the street, you know, and you're just kind of, scooping it up with a spoon, but we have made it like a fritter, but we have coated that in takis, like crushed takis, and cheese and different things. So, and now River's also using those ingredients in cocktails as rimmers. Um, <coughs> we've, we've got, going back to friends and things and family, um, from Peru, there's a drink called Chicha Morada, which is a, it's a purple corn based drink that they use it kind of like a lemonade type thing. You know, it's a, it's a daily drink. Well, we, I made that, <coughs> that base for him and he's turned it into, um, uh, it's called Chicha Gimlet, which we actually serve in a bag. So if anybody's been to Mexico and gotten one at, at, a, at a taco joint, you know, a food truck, um, over there it's recyclable. All the glass is recyclable, and it all has to be returned, or else you pay a fee. Sure. So what do they do? They take the glass bottle, they flip it over into a bag, put a straw on it, tie it, and they give it to you. I love it. So our chicha gimlet, that's what it is. We're putting the cocktail in a bag drink for you with a straw and a little flour to make it look prettier for you. It's genius. And, you know, and so chicha, he's used, we're, we're, we've been connecting on different items to, to get uh, food and drink with a twist um, and it and it's uh, like i said i've been there a, a bunch of times and you have to kind of work yourself through the menu right you do. right you have to work you through yourself through the cocktail thing and if you sit down at the bar and you take at the bar so you know this is the cocktail i want to have then they'll make a recommendation of the food that that matches it or that that assimilates it but that's what you do you want and i won't leave the name but there was a uh an elected official and i was sitting at the bar one day and we were going through the <laughs> going through the um the, the thing, but that's what you need to do. You need to sit there and go through the the, the drink menus and try yeah. this. And yeah, go e through each the drink is unique in itself, and each food item is unique in itself. Um, and you know, you have people. You know, sometimes it's like, hey, try this. You know, hey, try that. You know, and you know, and everybody keeps asking about certain items. It's like, yeah, we can we can get it done for you. You know, so we, we've we've been alternating menus some just with the soft opening. We had to 86 a lot of stuff. And we've been introducing stuff back into the menu. So um, you're tweaking the menu as, we're as still you're tweaking. Yeah, as we're even still tweaking. We're tweaking the kitchen. I just pulled in a uh, a sandwich prep table into the kitchen last night. Um, God bless their souls. They're probably trying to set it up right now. <laughs> uh, on a fri of course, me. I had to bring it in on a Thursday night for a Friday. You know. For, See you so, later, guys. I'm going to go yes, do a talk uh, show. No, yeah. he was there until 1 a.m. last night. Yeah, yeah. He was doing uh, AV stuff, right? Yeah, we were yeah. doing AV stuff, trying to get them ready for tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you know, it's and, it's a great it's a great spot, and I'm 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 going to take a little moment and personally thank you. I. I I know this has been a lot of hard work. We've, we've kind of been not necessarily well, that's, side that, by side. That's us, though. Yeah. I mean, everything we've done is it has been, been a challenge. <laughs> challenge. It's been a challenge, yeah. right? But, but, but the tenacity and the belief in you and your vision and, and your family, um, I'm flatly just honored to be part of it and, and be, to, to walk along however close to you I, I, I can be. But your family is unbelievable, and I just wanted to say that out there publicly you know uh, you know I, I get chills thinking about it um, the fact that you've kind of brought me and my wife into it 
it, it means well, a I lot. I brought your wife one. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Logan Wells me, Clay, Hello, me and my big mouth. <laughs> we got comments trying to give you in. some credit. Go ahead, comments, comments. comments. I'll thank shut you, up. Thank this is from <laughs> Mr. William up. McChesney over there. Any mariachi band plans? You know, that's uh, that's that's one of the things that we're probably not okay. going to do. You know, well, we're, we're veering. But ma- you can go to we. El you can go to El Mariachi. <laughs> so. You know, we're 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 not. So the restaurant is not a typical Mexican restaurant, and that's one of the pushbacks that I've kind of gotten a lot. You know, there uh, we've got customers that, you know, this is like I said, this is totally something different. So we got customers showing up. I want this as this. I'm sorry, you know, we don't we don't do that here. You know, can we add this? No, we don't have this. We don't have certain items. So, but you know, they're leaving happy because you're getting a burst of flavors that. A lot of people want to come back and try again. So we are different. It's not your. It's not a. Again, we're not categorizing ourselves because there is no categorized category to put it's ourselves fusion, in. It's fusion, man. It's yeah, it's that, almost it's fusion. Yeah. And it's so. it's every day is different. It's fusion. I think it's I think it's genius. Um, I can't emphasize enough to the viewers and listeners that are watching and listening to the show when you walk into this restaurant. Oh, yeah. It's a, a destination. It's an experience. I mean, I have not seen an inside to a restaurant like this and, and maybe ever of my life. And I sincerely mean that. I found myself looking at the walls, the columns, looking at the restaurant and, and seeing, as Johnny said, something different every time I looked. It was incre- incredible. Juan Sarmiento... I believe you owe him a drink there. I do. do. Uh, My wife and I had. By the way, I do. My wife and I had a great time when we went. We tried a bunch of different drinks and food. Look forward to the next time. Johnny was a gracious, gracious host. I owe him a drink. I was deeply in a conversation and flaked out, so I owe him a drink. Maybe two, on that end of it. You know, as as you guys were talking, the best way to describe, and as Jude is running through the pictures of the inside, the menu and the drinks and the artwork all come together because that that what you see inside as far as the artwork really ties together the the culinary experience that you're going to have there and the the drink experience that you're going to have there and it all kind of comes together nice and 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 one of the biggest points that we haven't pointed out yet we are the only place probably in virginia i could probably say that has liquor on tap that's Ooh. unbelievable. So, Talk about that. Yeah, so we liquor uh, on tap. Liquor on tap. So that was a that was a long drawn project that uh, went back and forth just to make sure that we were going through the right channels to try to. Is that not, like a regulatory thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we all know ABC. We all yeah, know yeah, how yeah. things are. Yeah. So, um, but we have we put four. Uh, Four bottles on tap, so they're chilled. They're chill shots, basically, oh. not watered down. You get you get the straight product. They're on tap handles, um, and we've got four four vendors on there now. And I just got back uh, this week, and the first conversation that I had with River is like, any chance we could change the whole front that we got beer in, change it all to liquor because we've got vendors trying to what, what, what do you have on tap now right now we have espalone which is tequila mi yeah. campo um del Mague, which is a mezcal and casadores so and it's quick and easy you grab and, a shot glass and, pull and, and jump. it's cold as heck it's cold it's cold and that it's, makes the difference that makes a difference yep yeah. it's cold i mean you're getting the cool you know you, you know you go somewhere and you ask for a chill shot they're gonna throw ice in it shake it and then strain it out and you have a watered down Liquor, hmm. so you've muted the flavors. Now you have a straight, straight out the I have bottle. To make a note about that for tonight. Yeah, yeah, straight out the bottle shot. So, um, and we're, we're like I said, I just got word that we need to. I need to fab up some more uh, stands for the rest of it because uh, we've got vendors. Now that they've seen that, that uh, the liquor vendors have seen it. You know, we got Grey Goose on us, Fireball. Did you, we got did you these- patent this for the state of Virginia, maybe? Huh? I'm working on that. Okay. I'm working on that. <laughs> I think I, would I am working you. on that. Because I think you just let the cat out of the bag. That's well, genius. That's genius. More viewer and listener comments coming in. 
Um, what are the top sell? This is from Lauren. Top selling items on the menu. What are Johnny's favorite items on the menu? And any plans for happy hour specials? So let's three start. questions there. Good one. Yeah. So we can start with the happy hour. Happy hour. There is plans on happy hour. Um, like a, this is new to me as far as uh, working in a bar atmosphere. Now I'm realizing that a lot of the local reps actually help out with a lot now. I guess with the ABT, ABC regulations changing, so uh, happy hours are going to fluctuate depending on we're going to take their uh, their lead on those because they bring in souvenirs, they bring in you know um, shirts and things like that for happy hours. So happy hours are going to be posted most likely on social media as far as how they go. We probably are going to have a set you know kind of like one hour power hour during during a week. Um, you know we are trying to hit. You know we do have 650 units above us for students, so we're probably going to be hitting like a once a week you know UVA power hour where they come in and and have fun, but also for the community as well, we'll have a regular happy hour. Um, and going back to the food items, you know, the, 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 what are the, surprisingly to me, and I know it's bar food, but, uh, you know, wings have just blown me out of the, out of the water. You know, um, we're not doing typical sauces. We don't have anything that's typical there. You know, we have a, uh, an adobo and mezcal marinade that we grill. Um, for wings, we have a t going back. You know, tapatio was a childhood, you know, bottle salsa you put on everything. So we made a tapatio wing sauce. We also have a mole sauce that we, you know, trying to be a little bit traditional on that. But uh, one of our biggest sellers, I would say, is the skita bombs, which I talked about, and also we put a twist on birria. You know, birria has been blowing up the last couple of years, but we're actually doing birria egg rolls. So we were basically taking an A-roll wrapping and we're doing our blend of birria and items in there. So it's a, it's a, it's a handheld item. Instead of a taco, you got an A-roll. Um, and those things are just, uh, you know, we can't keep up in the kitchen with those items. And then again, also one of the hardest items, you know, is the fresh tortillas. Yes, we couldn't get the, the tortilla machine just because of time and other space. issues and space. Right. Uh, but we are doing um, handmade tortillas every day. You know, That's all our tacos and, and, and that makes a difference. And that does make a that difference. That makes a huge difference. Know. What um, is your favorite meal? My favorite, I would, I would probably say the Skeeta Bombs. Yeah. The Skeeta Bombs, is, it's been a big seller. It's been a big thing. And it's, it's, you know, every time I turn around, I see it on the tables. You know, I get comments about it. You know, and things What's your like favorite that. drink? Oh, favorite drink is going to be the Cane Toad. I have to try that today. Jesse Rutherford watching the program. Jesse, we love you. Um, questions are coming in. Dan Pettit says, this man is making me hungry. Mexicali <laughs> guys in the old world of beer location yeah, on West Main Street. And we let's talk about parking. I was just yeah, going to say yeah, that. Yeah, let's yeah, let's talk parking. about parking. Let's yeah. talk about parking. You know, uh, in Charlottesville, we're going to talk about parking. parking Dude, he's got Charlottesville. signs. I was there two days ago. Yeah. He's got signs yeah. that clearly identify yeah. where the parking is. Yeah. It was you the easiest. Spots. So we have 50 spots. So easy. So yeah. right behind us, connected to the building, which is actually under the building, um, there is a parking garage. And if you pull in between the, the flats and the Hampton, there's an alley. So you need to pull in there. It's your first left in there. There's 50 spots that are designated for... Um, Sorry, they're designated for us and any other retail spaces in there. And because they're designated for retail, they're marked R. But we've also marked our logo on the columns. You know, we've marked You've the tagged pathway. them. They're not called what we call them, tagged, them, right? tagged it, yeah. You <laughs> tagged it. Um, and we've also, um, you know, in the parking garage, we've hung a banner, and we've, we're kind of pointing you in the way. Yeah, you don't walk to the front of the building. You walk around the back side to access us so through you've our got, patio. So you've got covered parking for 50 spots. 50 spots. No cost. Nope. No cost. It's free parking. Stay as long as you want. Yep. It's an easy access in and out. As you walk in, you can open up the gate and put the kids in the playground, yep. close the run. gate and lock it, and go to the bar. Yep. 
Not that I'm going to do that today, but I'm taking notes. Uh, I might, make, I might uh, just uh, do that I'll, tonight. I'll, I'll make sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on you tonight. Parking, guys, easy peasy, Sunday breezy. We got uh, questions continue to come in here. Mr. Rutherford says he loves the fresh tortillas. This question, and I'm not sure what this question is. Do you have uh, Victoria on tap or bottle? Where's Victoria, it going with that? Victoria is a, it's a Mexican brand. Okay. Um, it hit the market probably about six or eight years ago. Okay. Um, we're still working through. We don't have it on tap. Um, we were planning on it, but, uh, you know, it's, it could be brought in as a bottle. Um, we have been trying to still figure out the area. So we've kind of kept, we didn't go crazy on stocking the fridges with every single bottle in the world, you know? Um, so we're, we're not limited, but we are open to suggestions as far as, what our customer base is going to turn into and what we are going to need. Um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, reps, beer reps that are coming in that want to uh, create a Mexicali brand beer. For really? Them. Yes, we do. Oh, wow, cool. So we are kind of working with a couple places that are going to be... Create your own brew. Create, yeah, create wow, your own Wow, good for you, man. So we, and it might be something on tap. So... You know, we got a very diverse line on tap, and some things might be hit or miss, but we, we'll definitely uh, you know, the, be the, adjusting. Nothing's going to stay. So nothing's going to be, you know, fixed. That's why, again, we went to the QR code at, at, at the You should table. talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's important. Yeah, so at the bar, you know, we don't have QR. It's full service at the bar. Um, we got paper menus and all that. On the tables on the patio, we have QR codes. You know, you come in and you order what you want. Um, you get your drinks, you get your food, you still get service. It's not like you're just walking around trying to figure out what, what you need. Um, but also, if you want full service, we are accessing. We got, we got our staff with handhelds. They can come out there. They can help you with the menu. They can help you understand the items. But also, that frees us up, especially me, if I want to come in. You know, I, Right now, I've got plans on putting a giant pretzel in. So I can just inject that into the system. You scan the QR code, it's going to show up right there. Giant Prince if, will crush it. That yeah. will crush it. Uh, I'm already working on that. That but, will crush but it. But the thing is, I'm working on a twist on it. Oh, so what's Everything's you, a twist. You want to give us an idea? No, no this is going to be no, a surprise? No, no. Everything's a twist. Okay. So, you know, with us, everything's a twist. You okay. know, there's items that I have 86 and that I've left for almost a month out of the menu because the ideas are there, but you need to make sure that you're different and that you give the customer some uniqueness into what they, they're they not expecting. And make you, you got to make people try things that they haven't tried before. I want to jump in. You know why I love coming there? Is you. You wander the space, and you talk to everybody at the table, and you give poor folks like me <laughs> an education about, well, this is what you should try, and this is what you should do. But you... It is so um, obvious that it is all you, and you talk to these people and the, the, your customers, and you make them feel welcome and 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 at home. But so you can just tell when you walk in on the love. You can you can tell by the love that you give the the people out there. That, that you guys are going to be super successful. Um, Stephanie Wells Rose watching the program on YouTube. Stephanie, love that you're watching on uh, the YouTube channel. She's of the Interstate Service Company family. Uh, Holmes' best friend is ISC. She says, this is absolutely beautiful. Our family cannot wait to visit this restaurant. And she says, we love everything the Ornalis family has provided our community so far. There you go. How does, this is an interesting question. The Johnny Ornalis role and how it may be different from the Johnny oh. Ornalis role at Guadalajara, Jefferson Park Avenue, or uh, what you do with uh, El Mariachi Zion's Crossroads? Yeah, you know, going back to the same thing, this, this, this role, it's me. It's, yeah. it's an everyday me, you know. This is, you know, when we went back, when we signed the lease back in, in August, to get, to I mean, in October, <laughs> to get things yeah. rolling, um, you know, I had to go back home. I had to go back to Cali. And it was like, you know, because that's what we wanted to bring to Charlottesville, you know. Um, so going back there, every time I go back to Cali, it's one of those things, it's, it's like there's no hesitation on anything. I can get in the car. Yeah, I don't know where places are, but I don't feel lost. 
You know, you Love get that. in the car, you put things in the GPS, and you don't worry about, you know, Google or Siri yelling at you that you missed a turn. If you missed it, it's like, oh, well, you're not like, oh, uh, you know. I, so it's home, you know, and that's what this feels like. Walking in the door, it's not like, oh, this is work. Well, not yet anyways. <laughs> but it, It'll it, get there. It, yeah, but it, this is totally different. So my... My role as far as different from being those locations, not that I don't love those locations, but this is, I guess, a little bit of peace serenity for, for me because this is me and this is a way, you know, this is me and River, this is a way that I can express for the, since I've been here since 1988 in Charlottesville, I can finally express how I am to the community and who I am to the community. Not that I didn't do it before, but this is in the fullest of what I can give back to the community. Fantastic answer, Johnny. Uh, put in perspective Tearing being a here. part of the, uh, the West Main Street uh, culinary scene. I mean, so a lot of people can make the argument, I've made this argument before, from, um, I mean, basically from Mexicale to, what would you say, Tavern and Grocery, that strip, mm -hmm. Maybe the best strip of restaurants in the city. And and here's the thing, Jerry. We're also, you know, like I said, we're we're trying to be as much community based as well. We're trying to create a uh, industry scene there. Um, I have not had the chance to walk up and down uh, West Main yet, but we want to do a collaboration with all these restaurants. Into hey, you want to come in? You can come into our location. Look, we'll give you a discount, an employee discount, for being a business in this neighborhood with us. You know, let's join together. Let's do something together, whether it's advertising, cross-advertising with each other. And, yeah, at the beginning, you know, maybe they might not want to because we're the new people, in, you know, new people on the block. But uh, we've already talked with Wahiros. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Harvey mm -hmm. over there. Uh, he's a good friend. Um, good friend with River as well, but we want to create unity on West Main so we can all succeed. It's, yeah, not, just, a, it's not just about us. Rising tide yeah. is good for all yeah. ships. Yep. Make a, a create a, a restaurant owners association. Yep. Yep. There, there, you, there previously so. was one. There Peter, really was? Peter led uh, Castiglione Co., now the owner of uh, Maya Restaurant. He um, <clears throat> and, and the Blue Moon team had a West Main association there. And they had back-to-back uh, -back years, this was in the past, did a West Main street fair yeah. where West Main was closed down for mm -hmm. like a street fair and parade. And it started at Mexicali and went to Tavern and Grocery. And it was awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was awesome. There, there was stuff for kids. There was, it was pretty fantastic. Um, Not Elizabeth, that you got else to do, but here you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Christmer watching the program. She says, we're coming soon. We love you so much, Johnny Ornalis. Uh, thank you, thank you. Folks, this is, I, I cannot emphasize this enough, how much Mexicale is a must try. Um, you guys will be blown away oh, yeah. by, by this restaurant. And it's um, one of the things that Johnny and River have done in a competitive category that's restaurants in Charlottesville and Almaro County is they've created something that's very unique and different from everything else. And that is a challenge to do. Um, and they have absolutely, absolutely done this. This question's come in. What's the favorite uh, piece of art you see or you have in the restaurant closest to your heart? That's a tough yeah. one right there. That's a tough one. But, I mean, close to my heart, that's going to be our columns. I mean, even, even you know, even Riddler, you know, th there's so much meaning and representation in those columns that, you know, all three of them are special to, even to me. I mean, I, you know, River... We, we don't have a, a previous timeline where we, we knew each other. We knew of each other. But, I mean. Yeah, how'd you guys meet? I was just thinking that. So, uh, we met. My wife gave me a mezcal tasting class for uh, my birthday one year. At the BAB? At Babadero? the BAB. At the BAB. Uh, I had, like, four different friends with us. And, you know, mezcal tastings are usually about an hour, I think, from what I know. We were there for like three hours with the river. Nice. Um, and it's just one of those things, you know, it's one of those unique things that, you know, if you, when you meet people, it's, it's, it's an, that initial, you know, hey, this person is somebody, you, you know, somebody really, really nice that I met and, you know, keep in contact with, maybe come back and, you know, and we had 
not knowing we had connections, you know, that now the, we know of. The chemistry between you two, when yeah. you sit back and watch him run the bar and you, he talked to folks at the bar, which I want to talk about because you guys got a pretty large bar. Number, number Yeah, we seat. do. We got 20 seats at the bar. Which is pretty pretty large in, in, in bar scene. We got 20 this. seats and we got three stations behind the bar. So, you know, during the day we're running like a couple stations, one to two stations, but at night we're running all three stations. So you can you can pick and choose. It's not a bartender is running from one side to the other. You know, you have access. So actually if you think it's it's a kinda like an L shape, but it's got its three designated areas where you can sit at. Um but going back to, you know, with with River, it was just one of those things that we want to do this, let's do this. And it was so easy to work with him. Mm. You know, there was not this back and forth, no, let's not do this. No, you know, there wasn't a conflict. And when we met, it was actually, I hit him up because, of course, going back, I'm not a bar person. You know, I've bartended. But, I mean, I'm talking about, what, Sex on the Beach, Long Island, and Ice Tees, which yeah, yeah. everything's muddled together. You know, um, but I had contacted him to come in and help me set the bar up. But after that conversation, it was just like, this doesn't make any sense. You know, this is not something that just to have somebody come in and then how am I going to manage this afterwards? So, you know, it was like the following day, hey, you just want to come board. You want to come aboard and you know let's let's knock this out together. You know, there's not we we we're we're not type of partners that's like oh this is, you know you only have this or we only have this or this that no it's just we're both partners in this and we're not. And you, you can know. feel that when you're there, yeah. the, the camaraderie, the friendship, the, the respect that you have for one another. You know that that's his space and this is your space, and but it comes together nice. And what, what you know to have you walk the floor the front of the house and him, him, the bar, it brings both of your personalities to the table. And, uh, you know, this, this place is really you and I've known you for a long time and, um, I can't tell you how happy I am and excited for you Thank and, you. uh, keep my fingers crossed. And you mentioned earlier in the show, Harrisonburg and Richmond folks interested in bringing Mexicali to Harrisonburg and Richmond. Is there any plans to, it's too early to tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's too early to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Too early to tell. I mean, and, and it's car, it's kind of hard to think of that because you see we, all that gray. That's just yeah, recent. Yeah, that's just recent grays. <laughs> um, and it's hard to think of to do that because we know that if you know, it's not going to be the same. You because know, you won't have River and John. It's hard to split yourself. Up. It's hard to split, and maybe yes, we could do that. But it's you know, this was. This was kind of a release, you know. That's that's kind of a way to explain it. This was a release, you know. You're in there, you're doing things, and yeah, it was long, a lot of long days, a lot of sweat and blood and whatever. But it was, in a way, it was a release to put this out for when, everybody. To when see. you walk in, you can tell this is a project of love, right? You yeah. you can see all the love that you and River and your family and everybody has put put into the home and and every time when we when you guys were getting it ready and I would show up and say hi it was great to see the whole family there right and yeah. it's a family the family's part of this every way dad mom yeah. all the way across the board and it's just a true pro project of love and when you walk through it you just feel it yeah. um, I love uh, I love the location I love the parking I love that it's music I love the food I love the outside with kids the playground I love the bar scene um, Folks are asking, could this be a home base for any of the sports teams around? Any anticipation or plans for soccer at all on TVs? Um, I know there are no TVs now, but there, is that anything? There is no TV. So we are planning on, uh, uh, we, we, came to, we came to think about putting, we're, so we're going to be doing probably a projector out in the um, stage inside. Love that. Um, but we're trying to think, again, it's one of those things that we were uh, a lot of things that I do is like, okay, let's do this, but then it takes like months for me to figure it out because we're also thinking that we can try to make sure we can get that projector something we can go outside as well. Yeah, so we're, we're thinking about doing like a bad movie night, 
you know, That's and you great. project it outside with the patio and you have a, you know, one of the old school horrible horror movies that, you know, can, people would sit around the fire pit and enjoy. So sports is going to be a thing, but it's not going to be our biggest, you know, there's so much in the restaurant that in reality you can en- sit there and have a good time and not need a, a well, TV s- to stare at or your phone or a tablet. You know, that's one of the things I've actually noticed. You know, you got the kids coming in special with the playground. Yeah. Kids are eating and kids are running or yeah. not eating and running and playing. But you don't see a lot of the oh, yeah. that's great. electronics. It makes me know, happy. The, you know, you. need of the electronics because there's so much. <laughs> the kids love, they love the, uh, you, I know you walked into the woman's bathroom. I saw you the other day. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, we've we've. Did you see the key so over much. there that they had put for me on that? Yes. We'll, we'll leave that for another show. <laughs> um, but we've done literally every square inch of that location to where your eyes are busy, the kids' eyes are busy. It's There's there's not that need of electronics. And TVs, I think, would take away we're going to find out tonight that. because I'm going to bring my five-year-old and my three-year-old who, you know, they're in this age of grandkids, grandkids where they yeah. have, thank you, well, yeah. they have, they have, have well, I got dishes in the back. They yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to test Keep that. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. They we're going to test that. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Grand, well, my grandpa name is Pop Dad. Well, Pop Dad's at the bar. We'll, we'll put them. Put them Shelly watching the program. I believe hey, the Shelley, uh, yeah, yeah. Bevadero hey, family. Uh, you got some props earlier in the show, Shelly. Um, c- close the uh, show with the uh, the who, what, when, where, why of Mexicali for for all those that are watching. Yeah. Um, all I can say is come out, and enjoy the experience. I mean that that's what we created, and that's what we want everybody to enjoy. Is come out, look around, enjoy the food, and here you know come out next week. We got the whole grand opening week. We got something happening every evening of next week. It's free. There is no cover charge for anything. Um, enjoy the music. Enjoy the atmosphere. You look know, look up immersed. on Facebook, right? Yeah, we're gonna have like it post like it on, it on Facebook. Like it on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Like it on Instagram. Um, Mahikali Bar, uh, Seaville, and uh, put posts up. You know, I, we're very interactive with the. Uh, with the Instagram page, um, you know, you put like we got p- people putting reels of them all over location. We're reposting that. Um, give us a hand. Give us a Google review. You know, add add more people to the social media community for us. Um, we're trying to build this business, and uh, we're having fun doing it. And we want you to come out and have fun as well. You've given me a hard time about the women's bathroom. But check out the bathrooms. Oh, they are awesome. Dude, they are the whole awesome. restaurant is ridiculous. They are awesome. uh, Ellie Lopez, thank you for watching the program. Yeah. Folks, it's in the Old World of Beer location. I can't emphasize enough how easy it is to park oh, at yeah. Mexicale restaurant. Parking spaces galore right under the building that are clearly marked for Mexicale. Um, Family friendly cocktails, um, liquor on tap. I mean, think about that chilled liquor on tap. And some of the best um, food, um, some of the best street artwork um, that you're going to see. It is just absolutely um, a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece, Mexicali. Thank you. I wanted to take a show to celebrate you and your family and the stuff, that, the work and the love that you bring to our community. Between absolutely. El Mariachi, Berbadero, and now Mexicali. So thank you, thank you, no, thank, thank you. you guys. Um, Next week, we're going to get back into real estate. A little tease for next week. Um, More data. It'll be the eight-month first year, but I've got a loan officer coming in, Jay Dominic. On the 30th of August. Exactly right. And our friend uh, Woody Finchman is going to come in. Very nice. And uh, data, data, data. And uh, we'll see what these two uh, mortgage and appraisal uh, geniuses have to say about the market. So I'm excited about it. Dan says, have a great day, everyone. Fantastic show. Same to you. Judah Wakara, thank you for rotating those photos in. Check the restaurant out, guys, on West Main Street for Johnny Ornalis and Keith Smith. This is Real Talk with Keith Smith, archived online at realtalkwithkeithsmith.com. And click the Partners tabs. You will see the trusted advisors in this game we call life. So long, everybody, and thank you kindly for joining us. It's fantastic, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you, sir. Yeah.